that fascinates me is the the Sammy Bull Gravano. Yeah. He's supposed to be in witness protection. Yeah. And is it no be, been that he was running a, a, a another crime gang or something? So they gave Sammy the ball a pass to testify against John Gotti. Right. They put him in witness protection in Tempe, Arizona, which was like the, the party central place where I had my uh, best mate Wild Man live in. Yeah. And we um, set up this ecstasy ring. Well, we, we got in there before the bulldog and we like locked down the local scene. We were involved yeah. the local people. They supported us, provided information. That's how I built my bouncers. And then all of a sudden, these steroid head jock <laughs> characters start popping up selling pills. And we're like, who the fuck, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> then, uh, but it got heavy because, you know, he didn't have the Gambino crime family behind him at this point. Right. But he did have these big steroid head white supremacist guys called the Devil Dogs right. who would beat people up and, and yelp like dogs while they uh, brutalized people. And some of his crew, Lord my top sales guy Skinner to a nightclub in Scottsdale yeah. saying they were going to do a deal yeah. took him to the, the men's room and knocked his teeth out and um, took all of his money and took all of his drugs and I was thinking earlier on when you were on about getting paranoid and everyone's against you and the gangster threat and all this yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, and the guns like guns are legal in Arizona and I was I had a concealed weapons permit trained to shoot by the police yeah. to kill a home intruder you know uh, put two in the chest one in the nose whatever um, so when all this was kicking off with Sammy the Bulls crew, like you said, you had these gangster rivals. Yeah. I had this big bed and I had, a, I had a shotgun fully loaded, ready to go on either side of the bed. I moved 100 miles away from Phoenix to Tucson in this gated guarded community. Hopefully they couldn't get up the street, but if they did, I had, you know, I had these two guns. But the Bull, you know, he was still... Um, in His attitude was, they've put me in witness protection. I'm not going to go out there laying low with some phony beard on if they're going to come for me they're going to come for me and i'm ready and he had I had, he had all these booby traps right. in his house right. and he, he was he was good to go and actually the day he was arrested the feds actually saved his life because the gotti crew were in town with a bomb and surveillance did uh, you know where he was oh then? they were watching they were about right. to take him out right. yeah never? yeah and that's the thing with those guys you know for the rest right. of their lives now um, I, f I found it. I found it fascinating. This guy he admitted nineteen murders, and he, he yeah, ratted. He did. Yeah. He ratted on John Gotti, which yeah. shows a liberty. So it was. Yeah. And because I'm criminal minded, and uh, no, the, the, the guy was just a rat. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, and I found it amazing that he was still operating and all that. And, yeah. And but you say he was ready to get took it because am I right in saying that he got another sentence? He got. See, see, see when, see when he got out for the uh, thing, me informing snitching on John Gotti, yeah, in the Arizona thing, he got he got another sentence, didn't he, for the ecstasy thing? All right, so he was the head of the ecstasy conspiracy. All right, I can't remember if he got fifteen or twenty years or somewhere yeah, in that he did, range. He did get a big sentence, aye. Yeah, the son got slightly more than me, I think, and. Um, what they did was, in their plea agreement, they let the they, they agreed to let the women off right. if the men would, would take the fall for it. Something like that. That was part of it, I think. Right. Um, 57 people, I believe, were arrested in their case, and they all agreed to testify against and cooperate with the authorities. Right. In mine, over 100 arrested. Only four agreed to cooperate. Um, everybody stood really tight. Right. And there was a point where, when we were going court, I don't know whether the guards were taking the piss or what, but I don't know if you've seen any of my videos on YouTube with Wild Man. He was yeah, on my dad's. Yeah, yeah, Wild Man's. He's, 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 he's like one this of the big, favorite he's characters. This big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. The guards actually chained yeah. Sammy the Bull's son to Wild Man <laughs> when we were all going caught. And um, Wild Man was like, you know, because 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 we had this war going before, but we was like, once we're in there, there's no point in doing that because we were all trying to. Do everything we possibly could to beat our case. But so see we, the wild man. I think they get see see the the way my perception. He doesn't give two fucks. No, he doesn't. No, he, he doesn't give two fucks. He doesn't give two fucks. But I could, <laughs> I could guide him um, when there were major issues arising. He would, right. he would listen. I was one of the few people he would listen to. Yeah. So what we did was we sat down with Sammy the Bull's son. We were well, my mum was cuffed to him. He had no choice. So. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> He basically, because their XC case was running a couple of years before mine, right. 
he was giving us a load of information of what what could possibly happen next. Right. So we got a lot of good information out of him that night in the holding cell. Right. Yeah. Shucks. Yeah. yeah well, they crazy. went to Hollywood, didn't they? Karen Gravano is the star of Mob Wives. Mob Wives, I know. I know. Yeah. So they they they're legit. Yeah. Um, I have been in contact with Gerard Gravano on email, and that you know, there's no there's no there's no I issues saw, there. I saw something in YouTube about uh, uh, John Gotti Jr. Yeah, and and they, they gave him a lot of hard time, so they did. And uh, he, his dad get put in the supermax, and he never saw anybody for ten years get the the cancer and that. Yeah, and he was allowed to visit with him and that. Yeah, so I was watching that. That was the supermax in the federal supermax in Colorado. Ah, Colorado, the, 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 the it's highest it's level and one. All that and it's, yeah, you don't see yeah. anybody or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, they very rarely get yeah. get to see anything but in there. That that Sammy the Bull, I just thought he was a. That they snatched, know what I mean? For the, yeah, uh, for yeah he was the highest ranking member yeah. of the mafia to turn informant at that point in time. And a lot of people then thought, right, well, if the ball's gonna snitch, we're gonna snitch. Yeah. And a lot of people ended up getting life sentences. Yeah. And that's yeah. why people are still inside now because of what he said. So they're gonna be looking over their shoulders for the rest of their lives. You saw what happened with Whitey Bulger. Hi. <laughs> she just done her man then. Yeah. She came in. Yeah. He was sitting in a wheelchair, and even though he was. 80 odds that he get done. He yeah. moved to another facility, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, they just done him written it was a guy for the mafia that done that. Well, that's it. I yeah. mean, he, he fed I've information to the FBI well. about yeah, the mafia. He was in that for years and his, his uh, brother was a mayor or yeah. something well, like that as connected. well. Yeah. So all that time he had his crime empire, he was getting info yeah. on people. Yeah. And uh, and it's not too late to get to get killed. He get killed what he was eighty eight. You never know why that stuff's gonna catch up. Yeah, you? I know. Like you mentioned um about you know, the Americans watching my YouTube channel. A yeah. lot of my young people and the, the most watched rapper right now that for the young people, I don't know if you're familiar with this guy called Takashi Six Nine. He's in the Jew winner. He's got the rainbow colored hair. Yeah. And he has just agreed um to cooperate against the the nine tray blood gang, which yeah, was a, started out of the prison system in in yeah. uh, in because um, this guy was going to become really really famous. That's right, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I knew he's in the jail. But now he he will be looking over his shoulder so like the ball, name, is it? or yeah. like like Bulger for the rest of his life. They're saying they're going to put him in witness protection. <laughs> this rapper, and he's got oh, he's shit. got all these he's got six, he's got know. six nine on his face. So, so. So um, it's not going to be hard to find him walking in the street, is it? It's not going to be hard to find him, and I think also that they'll they'll go after his family and his loved ones and stuff like that right now because he's not right. actually got up in court and testified right. yet. Yeah. But in his plea bargain, he's, doing that. he's saying, "Look, if you guys will drop all of the charges against me, yeah, I'll give you everything you want. I'll give you the goods on all these guys." Yeah. But it's it, you might think that's going to be an easy ride, but it's not going to be an easy ride. Is it fuck? Is it fuck? He's fucked, Fuck isn't he? That high, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, so his, he his music career. How is he? You know, but maybe they can cash in and say he's the, he's the guy that can't ever do a concert again because the hitmen are going to come <laughs> and get him or whatever. Yeah, but, but uh, no, it's, yeah, it's he. It's he's uh, up in Glasgow just now. Uh, Sean, it's uh, it's like the Wild West. There's all sorts of things with unsolved shootings and stabbings and slashings. Yeah, and they're running a mock. I think it's yeah. the same in Liverpool everywhere just now. Uh, people oh, the, see all oh, the young the, the, the young team that they just don't give a fuck they, they just they just don't but in my days when I was younger we were wild but uh, you get shot you get shot for the slightest thing now well so a lot of it is driven by the, they made drugs illegal and create this huge black market and a lot of it's now they're fighting over that black market that, profits that, that, that's what it is that's it's taking over the entire is. world it is about the, the, the yeah. drugs and that so it is yeah. it is so can I get back to see when Seeing I was coming to the end of my sentence. Yeah. So before you get to any sense of I've just got yeah. a quick question. Yeah. I think people will be fascinated. What are the difference between cat A, cat B, and cat C prisons that you experience? And that's I imagine that's the equivalent to like maximum security, medium security, and minimum security, maybe. Yeah. Can you ex expand on that? What the difference are in the privileges and how how often you get out of your cell? Um, well, we'll, visitations, we'll, you get more visits, we'll, things we'll, like that. We'll, we'll see cat A, uh, Sean. A lot of people think that 
cat cat a prisoners are locked up 23 years a day right they're no okay see when you're in the dispersal system you're still mingling about where the prisoners you can go into a day room i see, uh, see about 30 years ago they would put your light on every hour and all that that doesn't happen now you know wake what I mean? up in the night because uh, that's a form of torture they don't, yeah they don't do that now right so when i was in uh cat a was just the the, the main thing was you couldn't you couldn't get through the system yeah you, you, you couldn't progress Take cat B, take cat C, mm -hmm. but uh, you you were you were still you were still see, see you you were in and you were cat B you were next door to me, you still had the same privileges and whatever. But mm -hmm. the big thing was uh, people were vetted for visits and things like that. Visits is less. I couldn't I couldn't get everybody in. You, you could get people in, and uh, so 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 that was it. And, and in England, apart from Scotland. England, you can cook all your own foods. You've, okay. got, you've got fridges, freezers. You can go to the canteen. That's a shop, and you can buy uh, any sort of a herb, vegetables, uh, fruit, mince, steaks, black forest gattles, ice cream, and you had people there for China, India, Italy, all over the world, and some of the meals I tasted in there. Or cordon blue. There was a guy, <laughs> David Poole. Uh, David David was in a thing with one of the prisons, was, and he was a Knightsbridge robber. And uh, it, was, it was done with an Italian guy. And I think he ended up getting shot in Italy once he got released. But they, they took fortunes out of that. Well, da David, David, David uh, pulled some of the, the, the meals he made. He could have been a cordon blue chef on Master Chef. So he could have. So it wasn't just all. Uh, Doom and gloom. Uh, doom and gloom. Sorry, I, I'd I'd quite after the five year period of thing with, and actually took ecstasy in the prison as well. 